On one of those days, as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. And behold, men were bringing on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they sought to bring him in and lay him before Jesus, but finding no way to bring him in. Because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the mist before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, saying, Who is this that speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? When Jesus perceived their questioning, he answered them, Why do you question in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you? Or say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, take up your bed, and go home. And immediately he rose before them, and took up that on which he lay, and went home, glorifying God. And amazement seized them all, and they glorified God, and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. Okay, everyone, it is Monday, start of a new week, the second week in Advent. I hope everyone can look back on week one and at least find one thing they did to prepare for Christmas and our Lord's coming again. Uh, one thing they did to deepen and freshen their relationship with Jesus. Uh, so if you didn't, it's not too late. We still got, still got three weeks left in Advent, so get to work. Today, we, uh, this is the third time since I've been doing video reflections that we've run across uh, the reading of, of the uh, paralytic who is, who is healed, uh, you know, the one where his friends uh, try to take him to Jesus, but the house is too crowded, so they carry him up to the roof and let him down, and, uh, he's, and he's healed. He gets his pallet, stands up, and walks. Uh, last time I talked about the, the communal nature of our efforts as Christians or, or how our prayer life, how our virtue uh, can affect for the good another. Uh, you know, so like I said, if you notice, if you look, the paralytic says nothing, is not have an active part of that at all. Uh, it's his friends. His friends are the ones that get him to Jesus. His friends are the ones that beg Jesus, that make all the effort, and he is the benefactor of their efforts. Uh, so I want to stick with that theme a little bit, but I want to notice, I want you to notice something when we heard St. Nicholas read that um, Jesus tells the man, your sins are forgiven, get up and walk. Uh, and everybody's like, blasphemy, that's terrible. But I want us to stop and think about that. Uh, the weight of sin or the, uh, yeah, the weight of sin. When we uh, stop fighting against uh, temptation, when we... Uh, live into sinful inclinations when we do nothing to try to stop them, uh, correct them, rid ourselves of them, but let them completely take over us. Um, I don't think it's a bad, a, a bad metaphor or sort of allegory to look at the paralyzed man and see uh, the paralysis as, as a result of his sinfulness. So I'm not putting that as the man did something wrong and he's paralyzed. That's a whole other uh, discussion, but what I'm saying is, if we look at this and through the lens of of heavenly things, uh, our sins can paralyze us, cripple us, and and make us less than human. Um, and and so think about that. Is there something? <laughs> I'm pointing the finger at me too. Uh, so I'm not I'm not getting preachy on you, but you know, if there's things we're doing that we know are wrong, that we know are sinful, if there's things, habits that that we have that are not of God and not good for us, what are the consequences of that? If we take an honest look, uh, I think you'll see that it's, <clears throat> it is a heavy weight, that it's a weight that can break us and cripple us. Um, you know, and I, and I know all too well uh, that, you know, most things when we're uh, doing things that are not of God, it, they're not, 
you know, evil and terrible. It's not like eating Brussels sprouts. There's uh, some pleasure in them, um, some feeling of justification in them. There, there's all those kind of things. So it's not that easy just to say, oh, look, these Brussels sprouts are sinful. Look how bad they taste. I'm going to quit doing it. But it's stuff that uh, perhaps we think we're entitled to. It's stuff that uh, perhaps uh, brings us some twisted or distorted sense of, of happiness. Uh, but if we look at the big general picture, we'll see that uh, it's crippling. Uh, so consider that and consider uh, making an attempt or praying uh, at least for that to be removed or for you to have the grace and the strength and the power to overcome that. Uh, the second thing is I want to focus on the friends again where uh, if we look at that from the same line, you see uh, the friends carrying the man who was paralyzed. Uh, you know, so sometimes that's us and sometimes we have a responsibility to carry one another, whether it be in prayer, whether it be through sinfulness or through uh, when we fall, you know, uh, and things like that, that, that we do have a responsibility to one another. Uh, and sometimes we have to allow people to carry us. So there's a lot in this morning's uh, reading. So think about that. Get up, your sins are forgiven you. So think about the, the control that sins have over us and uh, control the brokenness and the weight has over us. And then also uh, give thanks and rejoice for your friends uh, who have carried you and uh, rejoice and be thankful that in those times when you're strong enough to carry somebody else, uh, that we're all in this together. Uh, Christianity is not an individual pursuit, but it's done in community uh, where we walk with each other, we carry each other, we help each other, we hold each other accountable, we pray for each other for sure. Um, so contemplate those things and, 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 and have a good Monday. Uh, God bless you all. I hope everybody is uh, moving forward and having a, a blessed and prosperous Advent. God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.